brother here, uh, Clay, and you accepted Islam how long ago? About four and a half years ago. Tell us, uh, for our viewers, uh, how what brought you to Islam? You know, it's uh, one of those things. I turned 40 years old, and I thought to myself, half my life is over. I should get some better fire insurance. <laughs> the uh, In my 20s, I was a very evangelical Christian, and... Uh, kind of lost interest in it, looked around at different religions in my 30s. When I turned 40, like I said, this thought occurred to me. It took about nine months, and then another thought occurred to me, which was, hey, I have never known anything about Islam, except what they taught me in fifth grade. What they taught me in fifth grade was this Quran's a big deal. Of course, deal. I went to the bookstore, bought a few English translations, and started reading them. took about a month and then I realized this uh, description of God was distinct. It was maniacally focused on giving God all the power. None of the power was reserved for anybody else. God had all the decisions, decisions of the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, however they were going to happen, God was managing and everything. That, uh, that description of God was so overwhelming and overpowering that uh, Praise God, it took residence in me. Oh, so I went and thought about that uh, and read and studied for about 18 months. After 18 months, uh, I woke up one night in the middle of the night and it occurred to me, hey, subhanAllah, I'm Muslim. Everything that you already instinctively believed was uh, being portrayed in this book. Uh, everything, uh, I, I won't say that because a lot of my thoughts uh, changed as I read the book. Uh, I read the book and uh, it occurred to me, hey, I'm not thinking right on this issue, I'm not thinking right on that issue. Uh, this uh, book is telling me a story, this is the way it is. So I take the, take the book at face value and uh, went that way my, with my thoughts. You know, it wasn't up to me how my thoughts evolved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided over time that I would think that way. And uh, praise God uh, that uh, I should have woken up those 18 months later. Nice. And, uh, what, what was the big difference of how you used to live before you said you were an uh, evangelical Christian? Back in my 20s, you know. I, What's uh, an ev evangelical Christian? Uh, somebody who tries to interest people in uh, the mission that Jesus had. May peace and blessings be upon Jesus. How was your relationship with Jesus, peace be upon him, now as opposed to then? Uh, at the time, I considered him to be a uh, Maybe, maybe at the time, you know, I, I wasn't, there's some, some Christians believe Jesus is uh, the Son of God. Uh, I can't say that I fully uh, embraced that thought, even as a Christian, but uh, I certainly gave uh, a great deal of divine rights to him in my, in my thinking as a Christian. Uh, I was happy to see when Islam uh, started giving me the details on Islam, how Islam perceived Jesus. I was certainly delighted to see that Jesus uh, was portrayed as a prophet. Uh, and he's also called the Messiah, the the one who brings the uh, kingdom in. And uh, this 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 took residence me as a, a much more apropos story about his well, life. How did you uh, deal with now the crucifixion? There's no problem giving it up. But one of the one of the first Muslims I met uh, during that eight month, 18 month period of study of Islam told me the following idea. He said, "Look." Jesus is a prophet of God. He should be honored. For him to be dying in a fashion, being nailing, nailed to a cross, is, is kind of a, it's an ugly way to die. And uh, this is uh, uh, not a way to, not suitable for a, a prophet of God. Uh, may peace and blessings be upon Jesus. Uh, that he should die that way. Uh, did most? Did you know back then that we have such a great relationship, that we love Jesus, that no Muslim is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus? Did you know this before as a Christian? No, I did not. I did not realize that. Uh, I, I, I think maybe I maybe I knew it at some point. I'll tell you that point because it's a fun story. Uh, I didn't 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 
I don't ever remember re re realizing the Muslims uh, gave such great respect to uh, Jesus, peace be upon him. The uh, and in, in my twenties, when I was going to co college, or late teens, twenties, when I was going to college, we had this study hall in the basement of the library. This was at the University of Arizona, and there was this uh, very mixed group of people. We had one Muslim guy in there who was part of our study hall, so we'd we'd study for a couple of hours engineering, and then we'd stop and have a talk on politics or religion or or any number of things, and. Uh, after a number of weeks of this, I decided, okay, I'm gonna let this Muslim guy have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this guy to Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy to convert to Christianity. So I let him have it. I went up and down, left and right. You have to follow God. You have to obey God. God gave us a book. You have to follow it. And of course, I'm referring at the time to the Bible, the New Testament. And uh, he listened very patiently. We parted, on, and 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 I just thought to myself, well. May God grant him uh, becoming a Christian. He comes back to me the next Monday. He grabs me by the shoulders. He says, look, I'll do anything you want. You want me to buy you a car? I'll buy you a car. You want me to, I, at the time I had acne. I'll say, take you to the doctor, I'll get you a doctor. Whatever you want, you want me to get you a tutor for any of your classes? I'll get you a tutor for any of your well, I say, look, I don't want anything from you. I just taught you about uh, Jesus, peace be upon him. And uh, you know, I want you to—I want you to follow him. He says, "Look, I have not made my salah. I have not made my daily prayers in years. When you talk to me, I feared God. I started making my daily prayers again. Subhanallah. So from then on, I would—I uh, would tell anybody. Well, I converted uh, an atheist to Christianity. I converted a uh, fallen away Catholic back to Christianity, and I listed a few other people. And I also converted a Muslim." I sort of baited them. They said, wow, you converted a Muslim to Christianity? I said, no, I converted a Muslim to Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us uh, a couple more questions before we come to an end. From the, uh, what the media is portraying Islam today, now that you are a Muslim, what's the difference? What look, uh, can you tell us for those that are out there getting educated through the me media, is it really what's being portrayed or is there a different side to it? You know, I, I want to say one more thing about what I was talking about, and we can just finish up on that previous thought. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know the Quran. It says, those whom God guides to Islam, nobody can misguide. Those whom God lets go astray, nobody can guide. So that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me that good deed to talk to that man about uh, God and that he entered more fully back into his worship uh, that was a gift from God yes. uh, I hope that uh, all the Muslims in the world get these kind of gifts to have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the gift to help each other realize more fully our ibadah and practice our ibadah better and better uh, to answer your question what do I think of the media portrayal and how does it what was it how does it, how does it reflect how does it how does it reflect are, are, on me? Yeah, how, how does this now, from what you knew about Islam before and what you are, are getting to practice today, what is the world actually missing out on? What is the different picture that is one being painted by the media and now the other picture that you actually get to see the truth? It is, it is so sad, so, so sad that people don't get a clear picture in the news and the media. Uh, with that said, if somebody wants a clear picture, inshallah, I believe they can find it. It just makes me very sad that we don't get a, a clean, a clean, crisp, accurate portrayal. 
it's 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 that it's that sad problem of of the economics of the business of news. The business of news, dog bites man, doesn't get in the news. Man bites dog, that gets in the news. <laughs> so some kook wants to say something dumb. Subhanallah, that's the business of news. They're going to put it on. Yeah. Somebody says something normal. It's 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 unfortunate, you know. A Muslim, a true believer, cannot be a terrorist, and a terrorist cannot be a, a true believer. That's the bottom line. Very simple. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, I, I wish every news report that talked about terrorists would begin with that, but no. You know, that that's that's the most central fact in Islam. It's a pity that that's not the beginning point. Closing comments and advice for any Christian or anybody in humanity who's confused, has had a turning point in his life, and he's searching for the truth. Read the Quran. Get a copy of the Quran that has a half a page of commentary for every half a page of text. There's, there's a few of them out there. Buy two or three Qurans, each of them with different commentaries in them. Read it, uh, read it carefully. Uh, Insha'Allah, make dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that He will give you guidance, that He will give you res that the that the Quran, the meanings of the Quran, will take residency, that you will be able to see God for all of His beautiful management of every atom of the entire galaxy from the beginning of time till now, and from now till the end of time. He is managing everything that uh, Muslims perceive God in that way is, is, is something that was just startling to me as I was reading the Quran. And may God give you that same startling revelation and recognition that uh, God is in fact doing all that. All right, it's good talking to you. Thank you very much, brother. Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to thank everybody who is with us. Please go on the website at deanshow.com. We actually have the Quran on there for free. You can read it, check it out, give us your comments, suggestions, and we'll see you again on the Dean Show. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you.